Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. We are going to discuss models that measure reliability growth. The three commonly used reliability growth models are the Duane model, the AMSAR Crow model, and the Crow Extended model. Let us first talk about the Duane model. We have already discussed how mean time between failures is one of the main metrics that represents reliability. A high mean time between failure represents high reliability and a low mean time between failures represents low reliability. Duane model plots cumulative mean time between failure over cumulative operation time. The founder of the model found that when logarithmic values of both metrics are used, what you get is a straight line plot. The slope of this straight line represents reliability growth. The steeper the line, the more reliability growth Conversely, the flatter the line, the less reliability growth. By having the data of mean time between failures and operational time, you can use Duane model to model the reliability growth of your equipment. The EMSA Crow model is the second model we are going to look at. It is also called Reliability Growth Tracking Model Continuous or RGTMC model. The EMSA Crow model first estimates the instantaneous failure rate and hence the instantaneous mean time between failures based upon a test phase. The model assumes that the test is a good representative of how the equipment would behave outside the test. Therefore, the model calculates certain parameters from the test, namely beta and gamma. These are called shape parameters of the model. This beta and gamma are calculated from the test period and then used outside of the test period to measure the failure rate and mean time between failure at any instant. The equation that AMSA Crow model uses calculates the instantaneous failure rate at any given time from the shape parameters evaluated from the test phase. By using the AMSA Crow equations in successive time periods, you can see whether the failure rate is increasing or decreasing, thereby knowing whether reliability is growing or not. Finally, the third model is the Crow Extended Model. Like the name suggests, it is the extended version of the basic AMSA Crow model. The main difference is how it categorizes three types of failure modes. A modes which are those failure modes that will not receive corrective action, BC modes, which are those failure modes that will have corrective action incorporated during the test, and BD modes, which are those failure modes whose corrective action is delayed until the end of the test or the test phase. The test phase now considers from which type of failure mode is the test data coming from and adjusts the model accordingly. The Crow Extended Model also gives the concept of fixed effectiveness. This concept means that a corrective maintenance action may not completely eliminate a failure mode and that a residual failure rate will remain in the model. Therefore, the extended Crow model also evaluates the fixed effectiveness of different types of corrective actions 
which can help in determining the corrective actions that most positively impact the reliability growth. With this, we conclude our discussion on reliability growth models.